We're in downtown Columbia and I'm speaking with Vanessa Bilobreski about a very exciting Farm to Table event. Vanessa, this is something that's been going on, the Farm to Table company here, and you're the managing partner. First, tell us a little bit about what y'all do. So we started the Farm to Table event company five years ago. Um, Eric McClam and Robbie McClam from City Roots, I kind of bombarded them at a farmer's market and said, I want to do dinners on your farm. And they thought I was crazy. And then we had another friend that was a chef, Ryan Whitaker from 116, and he was like, I'll do it. And so we bought a bunch of tables and chairs and did our first dinner out in the field here. And then after um, we sold out and we did another one and we just kept doing them. And then uh, Ryan wanted to go back, focus on his restaurant and Christian Nemi, who's now our business partner, owner of Bourbon and formerly and, um, lots of restaurants in town, Mr. Friendly, Solstice, um, Gervais and Vine, Rosso. He's now the owner of Bourbon, um, was really excited to be a part of it. And so we reformed again and for five, we celebrated our five year anniversary last year. And we actually had a dinner out here with 15 chefs on our five year anniversary. And um, we put on harvest dinners every single month. We do rosé festival, we do a cream of the crop beer festival, we do pig and oyster rose, and then we are um, been launching our catering side of things in the past year as well. And all this is really becoming possible because we have such an incredible movement of local foods. Yes. Local foods that are being produced close by and they're using the old fashioned varieties in some cases and people are excited and people want to know where their food comes from, they want to know where it's sourced, and they want to know the people who grow it. Yeah, and we do that, I always say we kind of trick them into learning. Um, we feed them wine and lots of really good food and then um, but in the beginning of every single one of our dinners we'll have our farmers or any of our guest farmers come and speak to everybody and talk to them about where their food comes from, what happens at City Roots Farm, about the organic farm, about the microgreens that are grown here and everything else and as well as any if we have a protein farmer as well they'll talk about where the proteins are and where they're located and where you can purchase everything locally because a lot of people don't know. Um, each one of our dinners we actually ask people how many people is it the first time they've ever been to City Roots Farm and we get them to raise their hands and we get asked them as well is this, how many people is this first time to a dinner and generally 50 to 60 percent of the people that come to every single dinner is their first time coming so as long as we keep getting you know new people to come we feel like we're accomplishing a lot by teaching people about local food and the chefs that um, actually provide it in their restaurants as well. That ties in a lot with the special aspect of tonight's dinner because this is a fundraiser for the James Beard Foundation mm -hmm. and that's all about about celebrating local chefs and the whole local food industry from the people who are actually growing it, planting it in the soil to the industrial side of it. And there's a nonprofit aspect too and y'all um, join in that aspect as well. Yeah, so when I was up at the James Beard House for another event last year, um, I met with the program director and she was asking me a lot of questions about what we do and we just started our own nonprofit arm called the Charitable Plate. That's a scholarship fund for local chefs um, farmers and people who are trying to get into the local food business and so we donate a percentage of all of our ticket sales to the fund and then people can send in an application which is on our website um, for money and it's not cut off at any time of the year we take applications all year long because you know not all farmers you know need something six months down the we road. We never know it's, when a crisis will Right, it's usually pretty immediate so we try to be understanding about that and if we have the money we'll allot it to them. We also offer a program through our company where we help new farmers kind of get to market where we'll go out and introduce them to a lot of the chefs that are at the dinner tonight who already support local food in their restaurants so that they can give them advice on how to get their product to sell into the restaurants or I'll take them to Rosewood Market or Crave so they can if they like the Bradford watermelons doing pickled rinds now so I took Nat and introduced them to John and Brian and now Nat's uh, pickled watermelon rinds are on the shelves. And aren't they delicious? They are. <laughs> well speaking of chefs who are some of the chefs who are cooking for us tonight? So owner chef Christian Nimi and executive chef Frank Bradford from Bourbon Columbia are the hosts. We have Chef Mike Davis, who's the owner and executive chef of Terra. Wes Fulmer, who's the executive chef of Motor Supply. Blake Ferries, who's the chef de cuisine at Tallulah. Lou Hutto, who's the owner and pit master of Loco Barbecue. Russell Jones, who's the owner and executive chef of Tallulah. Travis Rail, who's the executive chef at Hunter Gather. Charlie Scruggs, who's the pastry chef at Tallulah. Sarah Simmons, who's the owner executive chef of Rise Bake Shop in Birds and Bubble in Columbia, South Carolina, and in New York, New York. And last but not least, executive chef Todd Woods from the Oak Table. Well, once again, congratulations on the great honor of being chosen by the James Thank Beard you. Foundation for this event. And I'm going to go over and speak to Christian Nimi right now and oh, see what he's got planned for us that's special. Well, I hope you enjoy everything tonight. Thank you guys for coming.
Christian, this isn't the stainless steel kitchen that we all imagine chefs work in. Not at all. We're standing under a shed and it's pouring down rain. But that's all part of the fun because that Farm to Table event is all about making connections of the local farmers and and the soil from which these these wonderful foods come. Oh, definitely. I mean, we're literally standing in a farm, an organic farm, in the middle of Columbia, South Carolina, with a fire behind us, and we'll do all the cooking here. So, yeah, it's this is about as close as you can get. So we're starting with the reception, and what do we have to look forward to for that? Well, when the guests show up for this, for the actually at the reception, what we have is a huge charcuterie board and pickling board, and each one of the chefs has brought something different that they've cured or made uh, from terrines. Uh, we've got a rabbit persalade from Hanahan's farm. We've got, we personally have a mangalitsa 16 month ham that we got from Holy City Hogs and have been curing. Uh, we've got duck prosciutto from Timberlake Farms. We've got pickling. We've got everybody brought a different vegetable that they pickled. Uh, we'll also be doing buckwheat blini on the, on the plancha. And we'll be topping that with smoked uh, sunburst farms uh, trout, uh, a little bit of creme fraiche, and then sunburst trout uh, caviar. And then what comes next? So what comes next will be the first course, which is our, our South Carolina Bounty Salad. Uh, so that's local greens, some of them right here from City Roots, and we'll be tossing that in a, it's kind of like a green goddess, but I'm actually splitting the dressing into two components. So there'll be like a, an herb vinaigrette, and then a, uh, a, an aioli uh, whipped with some sour cream on the plate. So oh as you goodness. as you Ooh. cut the salad up, uh -huh. it will kind of make its own dressing. Uh, that'll be accompanied by root vegetables like watermelon radish, uh, regular radishes, carrots, everything from City Roots Farm. That'll be the first course. Second course, we're doing Anson Mills, uh, what we call rice grits, but they're the Midlands, so they're the broken Carolina gold rice. And we prepare those kind of like grits and we're topping them with a smoked andouille and tomato broth, and then some seared North Carolina catfish, uh, some South Carolina coastal uh, clams, and then uh, crawfish directly from Sumter. So for the main course, we're gonna do a mixed grill. So we've got pork belly from Carolina Heritage Farms, we've got goat from Wild Haven Ranch, and we've got Manchester Farms quail. Uh -huh. And we're doing that with a local mushroom ragu, which will include Mushrooms from here on city, at City Roots, they're oyster mushrooms, but then uh, Meadows Mushrooms has provided us with some beautiful lion's mane that we're going to sear on the plancha also, and that'll be served with, uh, with that. What a wonderful combination of flavors. And below that, we're going put to a, put a beautiful schmear of uh, green garlic puree. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, and then we're going to finish the entire thing up uh -huh. with uh, dessert. Chef Charlie Scruggs from uh, Tallulah has done a beautiful uh, strawberry, green strawberry rumkopf. So it's basically strawberry preserves made in a German style with rum and sugar, but we're using green strawberries from Lever Farms. It just makes it more exotic and fun. Yeah, they're it? a little more tart, yes. you know, not that super sweet. So you've got that kind of acidity backing it up and making it a little bit lighter. And that's going over a little sponge cake and there's going to be some Benny seed and it's, yeah. And then for David Shields, we'll end up with a piece of Denny candy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, what a delightful evening. Thank you for what you're doing to, of make, course. to put City Roots and your organization on the map as the place for everything wonderful that happens with food in South Carolina. It's so much fun doing it. I, I wouldn't do it any other way.